Here we are, day two, Ambienta 2023, and we're in hall 3.0 today, and it smells very different to the other halls, and I've got a very special guest with me here this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna introduce you briefly, Sebastian, then I'd yeah. like you to just explain who you are, what you're doing, and what we're gonna be doing here in hall 3.0. Okay, well, I'm a designer based in London. Uh, I do product and furniture, I curate shows, and, um, well, this is, has been my world for a number of years, I guess. Uh, How many years have you been at the Ambienta? Oh, God, I've been coming here for over 20 years, 25 years. Oh, wow. um, it's evolved, let's say. And, you know, it's great to be to be back physically in, in, in real time with real people. Well, there's lots of people. There's quite a few people behind our camera. We're going to make sure we take our time that he doesn't get to hit from behind. But there's a lot of more people here. There's also these, we're walking through a very centered area, correct? Right. And that is one of the things I wanted to pick up on is this whole kind of, one of the changes I've noticed uh, since the, the COVID pandemic is this increase in a desire for a kind of an emotive part of design. And you can see here, this is fragrances, which are huge. I mean, it's the amount of fragrance companies, candles. The soaps. different brands, the different presentations. It's all, they're all very, very unique in their own way. Right. And it's obviously a huge market right now, but it just reflects a desire that there a really strong desire out there to kind of reconnect with nature, with people, with our emotions and, and kind of maybe move away a little bit from the pure minimalist approach that we kind of got really used to. Uh, one, of the, one of the things yesterday we were talking about, the, the choices people are making to put certain things in their home again and, and making right. choices, say, what do I want in my environment? What do I not want anymore? Exactly. And I think that's really key choice. We have a lot of choice. And as consumers, we have kind of learned that we can affect some change. We have a right to choose. So the products we choose to live with, there's more people coming out. Watch out! Watch your back here, guys. We've got uh, <laughs> so many people in this hall. It's a very busy hall this morning. It's, it's really buzzing. That's really great to see, isn't it? I mean, you know, we're passing loads of stuff constantly, uh, and it's all, you know, it's so, a lot of sustainability. Uh, you know, this is all recycled cotton. You've got stuff that's coming from all over the planet, but it's a little bit more thought through, I feel like. Mm -hmm. um, there's something over here I wanted to, to show you. Cool. Over there. So there's contrast. I mean, when, when you speak about the different materials, the, 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 the special types of cotton and stuff, is that materiality a topic which you have observed for your, I mean, you've got the exhibition, of, what's it called, Solutions? Oh, so solutions, yeah, absolutely. So this is now the 10th year of Solutions, amazingly. And uh, we are picking out from all the stands here at, 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 at Ambiente, like 20 best products that I feel uh, exhibit innovation but these are small innovations in our everyday life um, but it just shows that companies are actually trying to move ahead it's not always the same old same old and that feels it feels like that should be rewarded right so so I curate the show every year and and, and it's, it's a real pleasure excellent now we've had the sense and I look over here there's lots of flowers and potpourri and stuff is that is that also part of the coming out of the pandemic and moving into more of the essential so. thing absolutely I mean look at that it's in, these, this is a company there in Denmark, I believe, um, and they. This is all grown sustainably in Italy, and they use natural dyes to produce these dried flowers. And I mean, if you take a close look, it's just incredible. These, these are like pre-prepared um, bouquets that they make. But this all the color is incredible. People, you know, this is the kind of thing that people like. Hyper natural. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're natural, exactly. neutral colors, but they're extremely hyper intensive. Absolutely. I, I mean, it's, I, I think it's amazing. It's really beautifully presented, um, and it it's certainly really reflective of, of today's today's world and today's markets. I think. Um, and if, if I think about that sensual, the contrast of the last the last twenty years or last ten years for sure has been really that minimalism, uh, back to basic forms, really sort of right. reducing things down to the essential sort of aesthetic has been quite prevalent. And that's something you, I'd, I'd like to make sure you say a few words about what, what your thoughts are on the, on the shift on the other side of that coin. Well, you know, I guess people want a bit more from the things they have at home. And it, it could be about the narrative of where the product comes from. The, the stories they can the tell their friends when they come yeah, around. It's like, I, this comes from there. We, we, we know where it, how it was made, where it was made, by who. Is it recycled materials? Um, you know, so people need to know all of that stuff now. They can't just buy a random product. And even if it's cool and, or it's designed by some well-known designer, that's not enough. You know, it really needs to have credentials. I mean, products 
people, consumers are very picky, and rightly so. You know. And I mean, we've got a stand here which we walked past before, and we said "made from waste." And that's sort of quite a large slogan on the wall yeah. here. The idea of what are these products made from, where's the material come from, not only who made it and, and where it's been made, but also from Absolutely. what. Exactly, and this, I think this company is, embodies, you know, typically uh, what a lot of companies are being forced to do, and that is to kind of really take what they make seriously. Um, I, th I believe these come from different sources, so they've reached out to find suppliers in different parts of the world uh, of sustainable and uh, ecological materials that are then transformed. So it's, it's, it's almost less about the actual formal design and more about the content, if you like. Wow. I think. This, this is really important. So, the, you know, the, the fact this, this is the shape is, it's a glass, obviously. It doesn't matter, it doesn't need. But the new, the new, the new part for me is that then the yeah, so coating and the, the sandblasting of the yeah. base to look like it's been quite, that, that's again the minimal modernism part we've been seeing the last few years in a new combination. So that's probably just sandblasted, no? Yeah, I think, I'm, I imagine they might have coated it with something, but I think it is just sandblasting. Yeah, gorgeous. Uh, but you know, you can just tell the story as well. I mean, you just need to look at it. And it's Excellent. Well, there's actually a bit, a bit, a bit of uh, more things to uh, find here in 3.0. We're getting up to 3.1 now and have a look yeah, upstairs, yeah? yeah? There's loads upstairs. Yeah. So, hall 3.0, we're up in 3.1 now. Yeah. And you notice the different scent. It's a bit quieter, the different yeah. scent? Yeah, it smells of, of wood and nature. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it's. Slightly different companies, differently presented stands. Incredible, look at the amount of color on, on that. And, and, and that's another really emotive thing. Uh, actually, the, this pattern work, I, I think is great. You mean the, the, these ones here? Yeah, these guys, which we make, um, it's kind of contemporary ceramics or actually other materials. And they use these traditional uh, Middle Eastern or other similar uh, pattern. And mm -hmm. it's just really nice to see this. Since, like, apropos our previous conversation, since the whole kind of minimalist thing has slightly been signed by. Oh, this is actually. It's some of it is, but this this is a um, probably a thermo. Anyway, it's a thermoset plastic, I think. Yeah. Uh, cool. So melamine. Um, but the forms are very minimal, and the, the decoration's quite absolutely. intense. Absolutely, that's exactly right. Let's go. This this one of those one those those pathways that interest me. Lots of different contrasts from everything from barbecues to little new lights and stuff. It's all here. I mean, this this year it feels a little bit. The atmosphere is a bit less specialised in the in the different stands, um, and I think that adds variety. I really like that. Uh, so you've got, I know we had watches we passed by. You've got this great lighting. This is a nice little thing there, isn't it? Repurposing bottles with a ah, plug-in uh, LED light. I heard about that. It's like a plug-in, plug-in LED cork. Brilliant. Just choose your re so repurposing. That's another kind of slightly eco theme that's mm -hmm. um, but everywhere. Uh, and you can see here the larger companies are having to that might traditionally have been using regular plastics and injection molding. They're Actually all back there, guys. Lots of people in this corner. Yeah. It's quite a busy corner here. We're gonna take a bit slower. Um, so you, the, 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 yeah, the, the, but they've been forced to kind of really think about the origin of their materials, how they're using. This is Umbra, big company, uh, but the, you know you can really see here. Got to consider the planet. Everyone is 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 looking at that. Not just being stuck in your own set ways and ways of doing things, but actually You've got evolving. Involve. You've got to evolve. I mean, these days the consumer has become, you know, quite educated. I think, and that's thankfully actually. Yeah, I mean that's a. That's a big uh, development. You know, that educating, that exercise, the power of choice. Mm. It's kind of we, we notice of of, this is actually <laughs> one of those things. I think the idea of traditional objects like a globe or a chess set, being having those things in your home is something which I've noticed a lot this, this, this time around. Game, games are all over the place. I've seen a lot of chess sets uh, of all different shapes and sizes. Uh, oh, these guys. I definitely oh, that's that recode, the, the, the 3D printed guys. Hey, how are you doing? Hi. We've got... Uh, a small little um, film we're making here about some of the interesting stands and what, what are we seeing here? Yes, you see here the first 3D printed lounge chair for the um, yeah, German furniture market and we printed uh, north of Germany, uh, northern Germany in Bremen mm -hmm. um, with a big robot. Um, How big? Because it must be quite large. I mean, 3D printing yeah, tends to be quite small. That's quite yeah. a large object. Yes, it's a big robotic system. Um, the robotic arm is uh, in length about 3.2 uh, 3 meters. 
and um, yeah, we have a plenty of space to build things. Oh, I mean, that's I really like that. beautiful. Can you get the felt inside there, guys? Like a, where the cat to sleep, yeah? Yes. What? Is that where the cat sleeps? <laughs> no. <laughs> the cats can sleep here, but you have a, a seat table for the chair here. And as well, um, a small tech here, you see here, an NFC tech. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, show our customers all the information about the product, um, as well as sustainability information, manufacturing uh, information, and so on. And you can scan it with your phone via the NFC no. tech here. Is that, is that going to work? Can we, can we, that, can we, can we that spontaneous? Yeah. Show, show me how it goes. Can you capture his uh, screen here for a minute? So it's basically capturing the information of the chair so that people can see see on the website where it's been made, what it's been made of. That's superb, yeah. Again, that's what we're talking about, that idea of people wanting to know more, the backstory, where are things from. To trace the product and, and feel as well like as information they're happy with that. Brilliant. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, what I owe is a partner of us. It's uh, yeah, um, a platform for product information of 3D printed products. You see the um, serial number here, as well as information for the product, the manufacturing information, information about the designer, Peter Otto Fosting, a Cologne based industrial design studio, and so on. And uh, it's good for our retailers as well because they can show the products to their customers and our customers. Brilliant. Congratulations. Enjoy the rest of the show. All the best Thank for the rest, of the, the rest of the uh, week. So there you go. That, 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 that's really almost confirmed some of the topics we've been touching on. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, it's just so obvious that the customer needs more than just the chair. You know. And not just made in, like yeah. the made in is only one factor of these yeah. things. What is it made of? Who made it? Who's behind it? Yeah. And that's from, yeah. from a pandemic, some of, some of the shifts of the pandemic of more games in the home, more knowledge, right. more we time to read. We've seen a few absolutely. books. But then if <laughs> yeah, I think about the working, the working in home as well has changed too, no? Absolutely. I mean, it, we've all had to work at home so much and there's a whole new area. And, and you know, the, uh, the Mesa are, have started this section of the fair. Let's be a bit quiet now because there's actually a talk going on here about the future of uh, work, which is quite cool. Yeah, well, the future of work. It's almost by design, like we're walking through at the right time. <laughs> the future of work is staying at home. <laughs> but, but it's great that they're doing this. Yeah. But even the idea of reality, isn't it? I mean, it's a reality we've all had to deal with, and now we can start making choices. How do we want to do it in the future? What, what, what's, the, what's the design of our working situation? Absolutely. And I think you know, it's great that the, the fair have introduced this new section. I, I feel like it's going to expand because it's, it's really topical. There's these, a few companies uh, alongside who are developing special uh, work. Is that like a fold up desk system? Yeah. It looks like it. it looks really cool. Can I touch this, guys? Can I put this one up? Oh, wow, that's cool. Like you were at work, now you're at home. <laughs> How easy is that? It's actually magnetic, too. Look at that. So I guess you can change the surface, decorative finishes of choice, etc. So that just clips on there. Brilliant. Brilliant. Future of work. I could use one of those, yeah, I was going to say, I'll take, I'm taking note. <laughs> so, we've, 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 we're in a different area here. Again, it smells different, it feels different. If I, if I look at the, the contrast of overstimulating emotional sense and, and mm -hmm. lights and things, what are, what's the other end? Modernism, minimalism? Any other trends or thoughts you'd like to put, um, share with the, the various audience we have here? Well, I think, I mean, you will have noticed, I mean, in the background, all the the, the stands we've been uh, passing, the, the use of colour has fundamentally changed. Uh, and, you know, it's just everywhere. So, I mean, it's symptomatic of the same things, but it, it, you know, it's so important. People have a lot more courage. But it's difficult to say if, if it's all sort of puce, sort of uh, toned down colours or bold, or it's Which a mixture. Both. It's everything. Yeah, everything is possible. And, and I think that that is symptomatic as well. You know, there are still people producing and buying and selling the more minimal look this is great yeah. uh, that that goes the more Scandinavian vibes um, but you know the super loud kitsch approach we've seen a lot of kitsch here uh, in the <laughs> some of the other halls it's a little bit too much for my taste but I guess that's uh, okay you know but but that's the way the world is these days it's very tolerant of all kinds of opinions and and and, and that's which really, is actually a really, really good thing um, yeah. but we're sort of everyone's got to get a bit used to it Right, exactly. I mean, and actually, here we are at Alessio, we're passing 
all these great design classics. Uh, so that's a, another form of sustainability for me. You know, if you make your product well enough, it's beautifully designed. There's no way you're going to throw that away, is there? Um, well, some of these designs are from like the 50s and 60s and 70s. I mean, people right. might not know that, but that, that is a form of sustainability. Make it once, make it right, right. and make sure it can stand the test of time visually right. as well as from a quality standpoint. Yeah, and it becomes like an heirloom, you know. And it passing, passing on a bottle yeah. over to your children. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and, and you're right, though. That's cool. It, it only works if the quality of the production quality materials, etc., will last. Yeah. But they do. They do. What are they? They ca they're candles. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's actually ridiculously aesthetic, but also you don't weird. Light them, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be the first person to light one? <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, I mean, Cotzeo, great. Another example of a company well known mm -hmm. for plastic production. Mm -hmm. Well, that's where their heritage is, where they're born. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, but they've been, you know, they've transitioned into producing uh, a whole new range of alternative, like replacements to. to, to to throw away plastics and stuff. This is, this is a product I selected actually for the solution show. Mm -hmm. It's a pizza box. So, you know, instead of your cardboard that you throw away, you reuse this. Uh, if you send it back to the the pizza restaurant that you ordered your pizza from, you get money back. Like a, depo so, like a deposit, deposit system, system, the German fund system. Yeah, and that, in Germany, that works and has been working for many years. In yeah. the UK, it doesn't exist, which is yet. Really, yet. really <laughs> disappointing, but, you know, that's where we could really learn. But, you know, it's nice that they're seeing a kind of commercial op opportunity here as well as really? something we really need. Uh, Sustainable food solutions, written, on the, written right. on the poster. Excellent. Packaging for fast food and what have you. But, Everyday life stuff, picnics, big, obviously. Let's just dash around. There's a lot of people here. We can't get through that way anymore. Lots of candles. I'm, I'm really <laughs> seeing lots of candles. It is. I know. Isn't that incredible? Vases. So flowers are massive and plants of all sorts. I mean, look, behind the camera right now <laughs> is a whole they kind of... They can't see what we can see, but like what is going on there? world of, uh, uh, you know, look at this. And it... I think, you know, it is real. It is too. We've got a name for these in Australia, but I'm not going to say that on camera, but um, <laughs> they are real, there's real f real flowers with obviously, it's sort of like a, really it feels like you're inside someone's coral. lung. Like, like coral, isn't it? It's like um, an under, okay, it's under, under the water. ocean, not, not, not inside someone's lung, it's under the, under the water. Underwater, I think. Um, but it's a great atmosphere and this, you know, I, don't, I, I can't imagine seeing this at Ambiente like even three or four years ago. It's quite um, in your face. Yeah. But great. So they're obviously working with floral designers, interior designers to do their cafes, to different shows and stuff. So that's, you know, that choice of people that are working with the fair is really important. One, one of my favorite areas of the ambient, and I think I've told you this before, is always the talents area, which is obviously yeah. Yeah. integrated here, a bit of a contrast to the, the, the office space and the sort of real big names. This is the, where the newcomers are being presented. Right. And you get lots of, you know, projects with, I, I think, a, a little bit more of a narrative, so there's a, they're thinking a bit more about the bigger pictures of these projects and... Uh, oh, and look at these things. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's a very, very functional object, but also just like a beautiful object to hang on the wall in the kitchen. And there's a man standing in front of it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm just kind of figuring out how you'd use them, but thankfully there's some pictures on the left here which are explaining it to us. But they've, you know, there's this balance between functionality and playfulness, which, which people really love these days. And... Uh, well, it makes an every, everyday object, object unique. An, yeah. a, you, an everyday object like a broom, but it's something you can talk about. It's a talking piece. Yeah, you hang it on the wall in your kitchen yeah. or whatever. But, you know, looking side to side, it's not a kind of constant aesthetic, which maybe we, we would have had more of in the past. People have got their own agenda going on and they're telling their own stories about different, different things. And that's what they should be at this yeah. point in their careers, you know. Everyone should come down and check it out. It's again 3.1 uh, in, in the area yeah. J called Talents. Yeah. Uh, check it out, come by and have a look and talk to these young, talented designers. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that, that was a good one, isn't it? Right. There's a gentleman sitting on a wavy Oh my God, it is a wavy seat. There was no one sitting on it before when we walked past. <laughs> is that electric? No, it's electric. Hi, we're from the Ambiente team. Um, what's your name and what, what have you got here? Nice to meet you. My name is Kim, Kim André Lange. And we designed a bench, a completely mechanic bench that is emitting the energy from one element to the other and creating a wave. So and it's not powered in any way, right? It's just no. the residual momentum of one yes. thing which, yeah, goes up and down. It feels like a piano, like a giant piano 
touch, correct? Yes. Like it's very soft. It has a seating resting position, like a piano. Like when you push a uh, key down. I think you should sit down. I was going to say, we have to sit down, <laughs> right? Sit down, yeah. It's ridiculously stable, too. It's very stable. It has a resting position, like a regular yeah, bench. You're going to get tangled up here with yours. But yeah. like when it's in movement, it's just inviting to sit down and start some inter interaction between people and distract you from your waiting time. So when you're just coming into a place and you have some minutes where you have to wait, you just sit down, enjoy your time and have some interaction with the people around you. My kids, my kids would love it. Yeah, yeah. No, they really would. Well, brilliant. Well, congratulations. Yeah, well, hopefully more people come by and uh, okay. fall in love. It's actually absolutely, absolutely stunning. So there's a lot of contrast. If I if I use the word contrast for our walk the last last 20 minutes, yeah, I definitely. But that is, I think that's reflective of the world we live in today, isn't it? In every sense, you know, uh, it's full of contrast and, and decisions that need to be made and people expressing themselves in different ways. I think that's that's really rich. I really like that. But it's expressing itself not in a Okay, I think there's a lot of design in the, in, in the, 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 the oh, variance. It's very, it's, thought, it's very thought through. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not. Is, that's, that's actually something new, I think. Yeah, there's a, absolutely, you're right about that, to, to pick up on that. I think people do think about what they're doing, or they seem to think a, a, a lot more about what they're doing, and uh, that is what we need, isn't it? That's the conscious, yeah. con the, the conscious decision to make an object and make a better object is something which I, I've experienced here, and that's what the world really needs right now. We don't yeah. need simply more stuff and well, overtly stuff for stuff's think, sake. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the tolerance for stuff that is useless or not really in any way improving things, but zero tolerance these days, yeah. I mean, look, even just a simple little stool here. Everyone knows these stools, Scandinavian sort of look and feel, but it's got that pop of color. Very, very, I think these these are sort of the things that have caught my eye. It's, it's new interpretations of old things as well, um, which is probably a good closer. We'll go and see what else we can find yeah. around the, uh, the ambienta. Oh, there's loads more to see. Yeah, there's <laughs> so much more to see. We don't have enough time. Really appreciate your time, yeah. Sebastian, Absolutely and no uh, we're gonna continue and go on, our, go on our search. Right. You take care, right. thank you.